Mm -hmm. Week five, this is lecture 10. I'm just going to record this because it's um, such nice weather out there. I'm not sure anybody came to class today, but it looks like it's still a pretty good, pretty good turnout, so thanks for being here. Um, anyway, I'll drop into the Moodle shell. I think the course is moving along really nicely. I haven't finished grading everything, but I will catch up on that today. Um, I showed you that we're submitting to have this course be a um, uh, expressive arts course. Um, you know, the, some of the stuff we're doing right now doesn't leave a, a lot of uh, freedom for expression because obviously you have to kind of keep your um, well. You got to make sure all the views are there so someone can actually understand what it is they're they're drawing. But um, I, hopefully, what this allows you to do is to better express yourself in a commonly understood format. So here's assignment 10. The, the drawing itself is up here. I think you can see it if I scroll on up. Assignment 10. So this is really your um, fourth multi-view. And you know, and, and really, um, this is kind of the, the bread and butter of, of, of drafting, is being able to move between two and three dimensions. Um, you know, that's what the the machinist is is going to see, or, or someone who is reviewing your work is going to see. And, and really, before anything gets built, you probably all heard the expression, you know, measure twice, cut once. And it, it's the same thing. When you, when you're drawing this, it's going to be viewed. And, and, and I think a lot of your um, title blocks, or I guess some of the ones you're turning in now, but in general, a title block is going to have the draftsman's signature. Or it's going to have at least two or three other signatures on it before it goes into production. Like, and, and so that way, you know, when the, the machinist goes and cranks out 100 of them, and they're wrong. And the customer is like, I'm not paying for those. Sorry. You can, you know, you can see whose butt is literally on the line because they've 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 signed it. So that's um, anyway. That's the that's the point of of really spending as much time as we are on these multi views. And you can see it's a challenge. I mean, I, I'm putting some red ink on these uh, papers. Sometimes you forget a, a dashed line. Sometimes you forget a um, visible line. So this is this is really the. Uh, the, the bread and butter of the drafting discipline, if you will. All right, so stakes are a little higher today. Um, um, yeah, I like this. Don't skip step two. Um, yeah, you can probably read that, okay. So block out the rectangles for the multi-views. Th this, this thing is, is, a, is a much greater challenge to, to draw in this um, ISO. I mean, this is drawn in, in an ISO projection. Uh, but the challenge today is going to be to draw this. Uh, step four, as you can see, front, top, and right. And this big side here is the front. That, well, just about ev just about everything we're looking at right now, the exception of that face, is the top. That's 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 the top. And I think there might even be, we'll just have to look at it, there might even be another top that's behind there. I can't tell exactly, but this, this looks like a... Um, Frustrated pyramid. <laughs> there's a, there's a technical we'll call it, called a frustrum. Frustrum is just a pyramid with the chop, top, top uh, chopped off. So this is a uh, frustrum. This is a uh, quadrilateral prism. One, two, three, four. It's a prism because the sides are parallel. So this is this is the intersection of a frustrated prism with a quadratic prism. Or sorry, frustrated pyramid <laughs> intersecting a quad irregular quadratic prism. So here's your front. 
Here's your top, and here's your side. So this will be visible on the side, and so will this. So first thing is block out the rectangles for the multi-views. And the rectangle means what is the maximum dimension. So let's, get, let's just zoom in a little bit here. Let's zoom in. So the maximum dimension of the front view, uh, maximum horizontal dimension, 3.5 inches. Maximum vertical dimension is uh, two. So you're gonna, you're gonna have a rectangle that's gonna fit, you're gonna, all of these lines are gonna fit inside a rectangle that's three and a half inches wide and two inches tall. And so this will be a clue. I've, I've noticed a few of you are also having once in a while, you'll have a, a struggle getting the um, things centered on the page. So let's just do that. Let's just do that math uh, really quick here. Help you get started. Block out the rectangles. Okay. So let's just say you've got your um, sheet of paper. Oh my gosh, that's the wiggliest line I've ever seen. Um, well, second wiggliest. So let's just say this is seven inches, top to bottom, that's what you're going to use. And let's say this is um, uh, 10 inches. We can stretch it out if we need to, because we know we got eight and a half by 11, but let's just use that. Now, um, I told you this is 3.5 by two, that's your front view. So here's your um, 3.5. Here's your 2.0. The top, we're looking at 175 by 3.5. So again, there's your 3.5. Here's your 175. And then your side, uh, 1.75 by 2.0. Again, 2.0. So um, seven inches. If if I want, um, and I've got three spaces, x, x, and x. Maybe I should have called that y, but I called it x. Sorry. Um, how how long is x? Well, three uh, x plus 1.75. Right, is that right? Yeah, 1.75. See, it's that wide, it's that deep. Time out. Um, side view, yeah. 1.75 wide. Perfect. 2.0 tall. Uh, plus 2 equals 7. Is that correct? I, I just added... I just added the, the, the two things I know with the three things I don't. Fortunately, the three things are equal, so I'm just, I'm just shooting for equal spacing. Seven minus two minus 1.75 equals. 3.25 divided by three equals, let's call it an inch. You know, so, so there you go. Each of those spaces is going to be about an inch. So don't start at the bottom with a quarter inch. Don't start at the bottom with two inches. Start at the bottom with an inch. And then you've got about an inch between each. If you want to get crazy and get it down to the tenth of the inch or the hundredth, you can try, but I wouldn't bother with the tools we have. Okay, so, there, so that's how you, you get that. And then you do the same thing in the other direction. Um, and I'll just call this Y. Probably should call it X, but here's Y. Y, 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 uh, 3Y plus 3.5 plus 1.75 equals 10. Back to the calculator. 10 minus 3.5 minus 1.75 equals, divided by three, equals inch and a half. So inch and a half horizontal spacing, one inch vertical, and, and it'll be proportional on, on your 
the page. And if you, if you want, you can put your title block in the upper right hand corner and you're done. Sound good? Okay, away you go. You'll find my red pen. Do you know what actual rectangle you're showing? Um, lightly sketch the rectangles. Yeah, I think, is it, let me, that's a good question. So, because obviously in the front view, there'll be a, a chunk of that rectangle missing. Yeah, so just, just lightly, lightly block them out. You'll want to erase that. Then you, uh, you know, draw the, um, you know what, to be honest, I'm not sure why, why it's saying draw the multi-views. I'm not sure. Because we are drawing the front, top, and right. And that's really all I want at the end of the day. I've got uh, tape up here too.
And also, um, since some of these uh, points might be a little hard to find, they're, they're in your book. Um, there's a few, few, uh, few key things on page 159. And you can see that that sort of uh, fourth view, if you will, just kind of the what would you call that the the north the northeast quadrant? Um, if, if you draw that, um, if, you, if you sort of draw over and have a 45er right there, you can sort of um, allow one. You, you can find one point with another. You can sort of find the intersection of two points. So look, you know, just take a look there. Which one? I'm just looking at. Um, Well, I'm, I'm looking, let's see, it, it's, the example is actually kind of trivial, but if you look on page 158, um, figure seven at the bottom, you know, figure six is in, figures six and seven, well, six, seven, eight, and nine, you can see those little blue lines are allowing you to sort of map uh, each point, so you can like, and the numbers refer to the individual vertices. I can I can show you on the board here in a second. Here's a. I've just drawn a uh, frustrated <laughs> um, pyramid there. Take this guy, put him over here. I just start very, um, very roughly. I can just say that's that's two point oh, two point oh. Um, so this this is my ISO up here, and let's just say this side is kind of low, and this side is kind of high. The exact dimension doesn't matter. So I've, I've just I've just now sort of sketched out the three. Front, and I know. And so let's just say here, my high side. If I'm looking into this guy, so this is sloping down. Here's the front. Here's the right. And here's the top. I'm going to see this little surface here, um, and then this this guy is going to come down here. This guy is also going to come down here. This guy is going to come down here. And this guy is going to come down here. It's making my eyes water. You know, and then for this, for this drawing, I'm basically done. I can erase those lines. 
So I, you know, I sketched out my square. Boom. So that's what that frustrated pyramid looks like from the front. From the top, and, and, all, and, and so the, all they're showing now is um, if, I, if I take my, uh, my square, and, you, and I'm sure you're doing this already, you just, you're sort of projecting up here because you know that little rectangle is, is, is going to be up there. It's going to be somewhere between those lines. So I've just, I've just projected up very lightly. That's why I showed the, the dashed lines. And then over on this side, um, I've got the, the, I apologize, you know, this is obviously not nowhere near the accuracy because I'm not using a straight edge. But there's this guy, there's um, this guy, and then there's this guy. And that's really all I'm going to see. And that's what that, that's what that side view is going to look like for that, for that pyramid. There's, because the other two lines are simply directly behind it. So now I come in and erase the box, you know, the, the overall, overall size. And now, here's, here's the key part. This is what they're showing you in the, uh, the text to sort of just save you some measurement, basically. If I come directly over here, off of that corner, and directly over here, off of, you know, the same corner, I have a point. Come over here, directly off of this corner. Come over here, directly off of this corner. Um, this, is, this has to be a 45 degree line. Because this is this is the right side, and it's two inches wide. This and this is the right side, and it's two inches wide. So this has to be a 45. With me on that? You know, the, the okay. So so down here. So this is this is this is the right side. I'm I'm this guy down here. Sorry, the right there. there there's the there's the right side of the shape. I'm, this is the top view, but this is the, the right side. This is the left side, that is the back side, this is the front side. So the right side is two inches wide. It's two inches wide. I drew straight up from it, from the, from the right view. I drew straight over from it, from the top view. I've got a, I now have a triangle that's two inches tall and two inches wide, or I have a square, it's two inches tall and two inches wide, and I split it into two triangles of, e of equal size. And so it's, a, it's an equilateral right triangle, meaning that this guy, um, this guy's got to be 90, this gotta, guy's got to be 90, so everything else is 45. I don't know why my pen's acting up. 45, 45. So now I can take my T square, well in this case I would take my T square plus my uh, triangle, project up here, boom, found my point, project up here, boom, found my point, now I can draw over, that's, that's the back of that thing, that's the front. I just, I just found those two points without really doing any additional measurement. I just did a projection. So once, so once you've got one view nailed from the dimensions given, I'll show you the drawing, you, you can finish it. So then you, then you finish it, then you, okay, I know I can see this little rectangle on top, I know that's a visible line, I know that's a visible line, I know this is a visible line, Visible light, and then everything else just gets uh, erased. The pad is having a seizure. So there you go. So then, then you can sort of. 
hide the evidence when you're done. <laughs> but anyway, that, that's what's um, that's what's going on with that. So the authors are being nice to you. Everything's either 45s or, or 60s or, um, yeah, 45, 60, or 120, same difference. So one one thing to note on this drawing is you don't you don't really know the height of that point, but if you draw up that high and then hit that with a 30, hit that with a 60, they're going to intersect and then you're done. So I would you know do that side view first. Since there's no angle on that back, I, I I'm. I, I think this very back corner, those are all 90s. That's just like the, the corner of a building back there. I thought there was going to be some other um, surface, but there's not. This 45 simply refers to the angle that you will see on the front view. All right, so again, if you, if you come, you know, the whole thing is two inches tall. If you draw over 1.5 inches, you drop that 45 down and you're you know pretty much done with that and then this surface since there's no other angles given this this surface is going to is going to be parallel to your vision when you're looking from the front view ne neither of those lines will be hidden from the front view Th this one will be visible that one will be di directly behind it so you'll, you'll only see one line just like in that little pyramid example I just gave. This, this is almost exactly like that pyramid. This, this is just the, this is a pyramid, it's just that, um, well, another thing, this angle isn't given, but you don't need it. Because you're given the, um, well, you're given the, the base of the triangle, you're given the height of the triangle, uh, you're, you're given all three sides of the triangle, you know, by default you're given this side, so if you know all three sides, you don't, you don't need to know the angles, right? So in, in trigonometry, if you know um, three out of the six things, you know the other three. If you know two sides and an angle, you got all six. If you know all three sides, then you've got all three angles also. It's a good drawing. It's a fun drawing. <laughs>